One of the coolest things about the new SQL Server 2005 package are the administrative tools. And I want to go show you one of the main administrative tools you're going to use, and that is, notice if you go to Start Programs, SQL Server 2005, the SQL Server Management Studio. Now, talk about not being Kansas anymore. This is definitely not Query Analyzer or Enterprise Manager anymore. What I want to do here is give you a quick little tour through this and just kind of let you get a feel for how this thing is laid out and how it works. Obviously, it's going to ask us, okay, what server do you want to connect to? Notice we can choose the server types we want to connect to, be it database engine, analysis services, reporting services, or so forth. I can also tell it which server, and this could be any number of SQL servers on my network. I'm going to choose my default instance right now, and I can tell it what type of authentication I want to use to connect to that particular server. So I click Connect. It's going to connect me to my default instance, and notice what it did. Now, yours may come up a little different. I have customized mine. The very basic information that I'll always want to see is out here called the Summary tab, and I will even see other tabs across here. You'll see those later. But what's happened here, for example, if I want to see the databases, I can double-click these, and I can see my databases, master, model, and so forth. Now, how do I get back up to where I was? Notice up here, this is just like using Windows Explorer. I can simply continue to move up. This will gray out once I'm at the top level. Now, if you'll notice on the left side of the screen and on the right side of the screen, there are some tabs. These say Template Explorer and Solution Explorer. Notice this one says Toolbox Registered Servers. Well, if I mouse over Registered Servers, it flies out, and I can see the servers that are registered. Now, the reason I brought this out is I want to show you, again, they borrowed this from Visual Studio, and it's designed to give you maximum screen real estate to be able to work, but still be able to see everything you need. By mousing over and causing this to come out, I can see what I need, and when I mouse away from it, it goes away again. But I can choose, let me get the same one, Register Servers, the little push pin here that says Auto Hide. If I click that and make it vertical, this is now locked in place. Notice it takes up this area of the screen, and it's made this area smaller, but I have a definite one-to-one -one relationship between them, and I can move back and forth. Now. I can also do one other thing. I can unpin this, and now what I can do is click in the title bar area and drag it away, and I can undock this. Okay, I did that backwards. I have to pin it to be able to undock it. I can never remember that because I never undock them. But notice now I can drag this around. Now, a couple of things are happening here. You may have just seen it. When I start to drag this around, you'll notice these little indicators show up telling me, asking me where do I want to dock this thing later. But think about something for a minute. What if I had a second monitor and I wanted to take my registered servers, right, and drag them onto that second monitor, right? I could drag them off the screen onto the second monitor. That'd be kind of cool. But in this case, I just want to dock it. Well, I could dock it to this side of the screen by moving my mouse, notice, over that indicator, and notice this is now docked on this side of the screen. So I can put anything I want anywhere I want, and notice once I get this out, I can grab this and resize it so that it, does, it only comes out that far every time. A lot of customizing you can do here to make this environment match your particular work style. Also, let me show you, if I click on the View menu in the Management Studio, you'll notice Object Explorer, Summary, Registered Servers, Template Explorer, Notice all these various windows. Some of these may or may not be open. Some of them aren't windows, but toolbars. Notice for Query Designer, I can click this and turn on the Query Designer toolbar here. I can also drag it and relocate it. So get out here in the Management Studio and just play around and get comfortable. It can be a little daunting at first. Things tend to fly around and move around, and you can't remember where they came from or where they went. Something else you will be glad to know is, for example, notice if I pin the Object Explorer out here and then close my Management Studio, it will open back up this way for me because that's the way I did it last. Okay, So however you get it, once you get it the way you like it, then the next time you reopen it, you're going to see it that same way again. So notice the Object Explorer is still out there for me. Okay, that's a very quick overview. We'll take a little closer look at the Management Studio in some later videos.